So I think it'd be fun to redo my most recent house poem. The one that uh, was mentioned is in the other book, but this is a new one. Uh, it's a different house. <laughs> but we get to perform this in some places uh, where Phil plays the house, and I play myself, Brenda Dead. And uh, he gets to use a microphone, but it can't be seen. So imagine it that way. <laughs> Bernadette, what do you have to say? House, nothing, you <coughs> newcomer. <clears throat> Bernadette, how come I lose things in you all the time, like my sunglasses? Are you so vast to me, relatively speaking? House, what's relativity to you? Bernadette, I didn't say relativity, which would be a whole different matter. I said relatively, okay. House, always mincing words. I like the rabbi better. Would you wish me to be smaller, more apprehendable by your brain? Bernadette, house, surcease, you bean spasm. At night, I think you're a wholesale ghost, a whiz kid, if you will. House, let's get to the real question. What are the two most notable things left out of the State of the Union address? Bernadette. That's easy, Iraq and New Orleans. Hard to figure how either could have could be omitted if a country, government's supposed to house. You know, much as I detest you, detest you, Bernadette of the Saint's name, I'm beginning to come around to your way of thinking <coughs> politically, Bernadette. Well, I hope I won't jump the gun then if I say that Harry Belafonte says Bush is a terrorist, and Cindy Sheehan went to Venezuela too. House. As far as I go, you push me further. Bernadette. You want to go further still? Study a while. House. You know I can't study. Bernadette. Well, if you can't study, how can you speak? House. Speaking is an affectation created by you. I will never speak again. Bernadette. Where are my sunglasses? <laughs> House. <clears throat> they are on the windowsill with Marie's smelling blanket. Go figure. House. Bernadette. You mean I drunk the whole thing? House. I've had it with your dreams. You think anything you dream, you dream is true? Bernadette. And my poetry, too. House. That's another thing. All those poetry books. Where did all the Hebrew books go? Bernadette. Sorry, the rabbi doesn't live here anymore. Just us poets and Hector, too. House. Yes, the dog is a fine addition, even if he leaves his hair everywhere. Bernadette. I'm glad you approve of the dog. And how do you feel How do you feel about the all, all the poets <coughs> being on your porch? House. My porch is falling apart and needs to be painted like the rest of it. Bernadette. I'm sorry you're, we're not rich enough to hire a crew of painters to restore your beauty. House, there you go again, speaking of beauty, and even truth, Bernadette. That's what makes my politics so unpopular. House, but you still smoke, Bernadette. Much less than before, though, and soon not, maybe. House, I look forward to that day. The only thing worse than the neglect of me, the dog hair everywhere, the books, is the smoke. And I don't mean from the wood stove. Why don't you just hurry up? Bernadette. It's harder to stop smoking when it's trendy to. House. Since when have you cared? Bernadette. I used to think of you as a giant ten. You're the first house I ever owned. House. You don't own me. Phil does. <laughs> Bernadette. Yes. But we're united as you and I will never be. House. What claptrap? Claptrap! Why don't you write a poem about it? Bernadette. I never had a house make fun of me before. <laughs> house. Get used to it. Here in the center of the shtetl. Bernadette. Perhaps it will make me politically more tolerant. House. Ho, ho, ho. Bernadette. And ho, ho, ho to you too, my cave. House. I want to have the last word. Cave. Thank <laughs> you.